four steps, five minutes. Four steps, five minutes. The Four Steps to the Epiphany is a book written by Steve Blank. Steve Blank is a serial entrepreneur and a veteran of eight Silicon Valley startups. His eight startup was very successful and he retired after that. And retirement led to reflection. Reflection led to notes. Notes led to lectures at Stanford, Berkeley, and Columbia. And those lectures and those notes led to a book called The Four Steps to the Epiphany. Now, what is the four steps to the epiphany about? It's about startups. What is a startup? What does a startup do? A startup is a company designed to find a scalable, reliable business model, a scalable, reliable model for making money. And you want to do this in such a way that you reduce risk. Why do you want to reduce risk? Well, when you reduce risk, you increase the longevity of your company. And when you increase its longevity, you increase the odds that you can find a model that will work for you as an entrepreneur so you can make money. Now, one of the ways that you reduce risk is by going through the procedure that Steve Blank outlines in his book. Those are the four steps. But before he gets into the four steps, he talks about a few counterexamples. One of them is Webvan. How many of you remember Webvan? It was all about you buy groceries on the web and they ship them to you in a van, hence the name Webvan. Very simple, right? Well, Webvan failed miserably in 2001 because they spent a ton of money before they had a single customer, before they had a reliable supply of customers. But they're not alone. Apple did the same thing with the Newton. Motorola did the same thing with the Iridium, which was satellites in geostationary orbit to give everyone satellite internet access. But there's a better way to do this. You want to find customers first. The four steps to the epiphany are customer discovery, customer validation, customer creation, and company building. Note that you focus on the customer in the first three steps, and then you pump money into building the company. Now let's talk about step one, which is customer discovery. How many of you in the room are entrepreneurs? Make some noise if you're an entrepreneur. OK, let me hear you. All right, entrepreneurs, you're all delusional. <laughs> Here's why you're delusional, and I'm delusional too. I'm an entrepreneur as well. We're delusional because we think that our product or service is going to change the world. And maybe it will, but what we need to do is bundle that product or service into a minimum viable product, take that out to prospective customers and figure out if they will buy it. Take that customer out to certain types of customers too. The customers you want to go after are your innovators and your early adopters. You want to get out of the building wherever it is that you work, go to your innovators and your early adopters and determine whether they buy it. Now, who are innovators and early adopters? Well, you see, there's a curve that shows innovators and early adopters on the left. Those are the people who bought cell phones when they first came out. The people on the right, your laggards, those are the people who still had dial-up telephones. Go to your innovators and your early adopters with your new product and figure out if they will buy it. If they buy it, then fine. If they don't buy it, take that feedback. Your first guess or your hypothesis, fancy word, hypothesis, your first guess will not survive your first interaction with the customers. And then you modify that minimum viable product until you have something that they want. You know that you have something that they want if they pay you money for it, and that's customer validation. Customers are validated when they pay you money for that minimum viable product. If they won't pay you money, then perhaps you need to do what's called a pivot. A pivot means that you go back and make some changes in your assumptions, your business model, your feature mix, your pricing, what have you. Once you have all of that together, you go to the third step, which is customer creation. And what you're doing with customer creation is that you're moving down the curve away from your early adopters and your innovators. You want to keep them, but you want to get more of the people that are in the majority of the curve. Once you've done all of that with your customers, then you're ready to pump money into building your company company building. That's when you start putting money into your warehouses, or your vans, or your expensive customized software. You make sure you have customers that want to pay for your product first, and then we build the company. We're at the end of the presentation now, so let me recap. There are four steps to the epiphany. They are customer discovery, customer validation, customer creation, and company building. The first three have to do with customers. When we go out to the customers, we do so with our minimum viable product. We figure out if they want it. We know they want it if they pay for it. If they don't pay for it and they don't want it, we pivot, change our basic assumptions until we have something that they want. If you'd like to know more about the four steps, please visit fourstepsfiveminutes.com. My name is Ray Hightower. The company is Wisdom Group. Thank you, Stella and Tim, for putting this event together. And thank all of you for listening.